Now, unmanned underwater robots sent to help search efforts in Jindo have been rendered pretty much useless, unable to withstand the strong tidal currents at the accident site. But a domestically made robot that can crawl along the bottom of the sea floor is said to be deployed, and hopefully this will give research, rescue teams a better view of the situation. Son Jung-in reports. This is a remote control robot crafter that can crawl along the bottom of sea floor. This 2.4 meter long, 2 meter high machine weighs 650 kilograms and moves using six legs. In the ocean, its weight reduces to 150 kilograms due to buoyancy, enabling it to explore the water with a maximum speed of 0.1 meter per second. Crafter is installed with a high-resolution scanning sonar, which helps it recognize objects that are within 100 meter distance. It can shoot and record its surrounding using an ultrasonic camera as well as 10 optical cameras, and can also collect samples using its long arms. Developed by the Korea Institute of Ocean Science and Technology in 2010, the robot will take part in the ongoing search operation at the Sewaro Ferry Disaster Site. Crabster was made to be able to resist water currents that run up to 3.7 kilometers per hour. Using scanning sonar, we can expect to receive more information on how the sunken ferry is capsized so that we can figure out the best way to rescue and salvage the vessel. Unmanned submersible robots or ROVs from Korea and the U.S. were dispatched to the accident site, but have so far failed to gather any substantial results as they were affected by the currents. Unlike ROVs, experts hope this crab-like robot, which is able to withstand powerful currents, can help inspect the site and play an active role in the search operation. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.